Hey guys, it's Burger Bears, and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool World. Welcome to Season 5. After finishing Season 4, we go from the very beginning once again and, and starting off with a away game at the London Stadium against the Hammers, West Ham. United because why the fuck not hi there everybody Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith we're yes. back here we go and Premier League football is once again we've got the opening game of the season, season. Yeah. in search of that fifth Premier League Liverpool. title in a row. Fantastic, Martin, isn't it, to have football back a full start? From five. An atmosphere here, and it's home to us. Well, well Mark. But a tiny Euro League place. No the starting lineup is the normal pitch. starting lineup. Up against last season's champions. I did sign the new player really who was uh, the atmosphere inside this being brought in to. In for some good be football. Daniel Sturridge's replacement. Lineup is this. A quick word on Daniel Sturridge. I looked to see where he went once he uh, the uh, new season loaded up. I checked. Immediately he signed with a new club. It was some Italian team. I, I have no idea who they are. Or, but, yeah, and he's on like 10k. Like, I'm like, what? Up top with Divock Origi. Here's Renato Sanchez. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'll do? I'll show who you guys. What I mean. I think they're Italian anyway, dude. I think they are. If they're not, I apologize. But I think they are indeed Italian. Could be a chance here for Liverpool. Romero! It's gonna to come to Origi, and there it is, the first goal of season 5 goes to the Beth Wilgen, who's looking for his third top goal scorer award in a row after winning it last season by one freaking goal. Well, let's take another look at the goal. And there's the first um hopefully many. Twenty-two last season was a uh, it was by far and that it was probably the lowest. One nil here. Expect from you know like you want your strikers to get twenty plus a season, which yeah, both of well, Origi and Mane did get 20 plus. This was Mane he coming second with 21. And Origi gained 22, and that's why it went to Origi. If the past is anything to go by, though, this season a new face will take the top goal scorer award. Because after Mane won it two seasons in a row, he had an off season. Saying that Origi is good support already off the mark. This attack. He's got a chance to Many a few games actually. Well, He's gone out for a goal kick. In uh, in season three to get off this the mark, kind of if you guys pitch. remember. But I think it's so, actually players favour Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders. And uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing and uh, you're in. Obia. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Could make a chance with this tackle. So, you gotta wonder, will it be a new name on the uh, tackle to break up the list of top goal score or winner? Or will it? Here's Renato will Origi win it for a third year in a row, or will Mane get the 
Look, a real chance here. Their award back after two seasons of missing out. Renato Sanchez with his brand new number. I did change a few numbers as well in case you didn't uh, catch. Ivo Carrigi is now number seven. Sadio Mane is now number nine. And after Sanchez has been awarded for his fantastic season with the number eight jersey. I'm trying to think who else is number eight. Payet. Just lent the ball to his mate. I think I left Deli Alley at number twenty. I did. Him and Roberto Firmino and Into the attack. everyone else in the uh, starting lineup, they did not shoot numbers. Some of the lower, the uh, some of the backup players changed numbers. At the moment, it's looking but uh, those are the little most little significant. Quite numbers. good. They would have hoped to be yes. in a strong well, position, but it could be worse. If, and he's in there with a the header. Well, there's nothing wrong. Was nothing wrong with 19 and 27. Nine and seven are legendary numbers. What a great goal that was, Alan. Well, he's got a track record of that. On his left side, he's. So and I think Mane and Torigi are definitely worthy of those numbers. I think they can live up to the hype, especially because that's now one goal and one assist for Divo Torigi, and now Sadio Mane is off the mark. Restarting at 2 0. So, if we can get a goal from Renato Sanchez, that would make all, all, all the new numbered players gain a goal on the first the game of the season. A chance to create some We're going to seek out a goal from Renato With some danger to the opposition now they're here. Uh, if he gets one. Gets foot in there. Okay, are you? you? Putting a lot of pressure on him to give him the number eight jersey. Maybe it is. Oh, he's I don't think so. Honestly, I, Sadio Mane almost stealthily into if like position. the game has picked up and they paid a thing to say, uh, such and such a for me to select a vice captain, I think I would pick Renato Sanchez. He is feeling that I think he could easily turn in. I I think I could mold him into a, a great leader or among the players. Obviously, Philip Coutinho will keep the arm band as long as he's on the pitch. But, uh. If I could select a vice captain, it would definitely be Renato. And the referee has signaled for half time. 3 0 is the scoreline at this point. Uh, Mane getting third goal just before half time. This is a fantastic start to the new season. Forty-five minutes into my first game, Mari three nothing up. We start the second half. There might not be too much contest. Set West Ham off on the right foot. More like false start. Fortunately for them, this false start counts. Well, they've been thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Well, they're building steadily here. I do want to talk to you guys about some transfers and I've been thinking about what formation I'm going to run in FIFA brilliant first half from this fella next on top of his game out there and I'm season. sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat trick in the second so that, half. I always like to try to change it up now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I had a chance really to put that into a much more dangerous area has to go down as a poor cross in his time at Southampton, Sadio Mane had scouts from all the big clubs looking at him. He got his move that he wanted, really, to a step up, he felt, to Liverpool. Well, the defence knew all about him beforehand, but it's one thing, they really it, it does get tight enough. And as a result, like, he's been working the keeper, and he's got on the score sheet. When I think of times. a formation, I'm like, Here's there's Alley. a problem here and here. And in goes the cross. will be a free kick. 
Alan, it's been one of those deals with Juventus where we heard rumours. Uh, we heard please. all sorts of gossip about it. Actually, it has now been signed. Think, yeah, well, they've had to put the I've been thinking the about pockets, possibly uh, playing with one striker, but which um, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. His quality. Like, the way I'm thinking of it, I would have Divock Origi up top. With two -thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Uh, and, and um, Roberto Firmino. Mane on the wings. Coutinho would be in the cam roll. Lallana and... Probably Emre would be in the centre midfield. To nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on but, uh, there's, one, there's a problem with that. I'm leaving out Roberto. For West Ham United. And he, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't deserve that. He's not done anything wrong. About it. And I am as well. In fact, attacking now. He's been pretty much undervalued. This stopping the cross. This uh, this kept it out. career mode. We'll have a goal kick. And, Every season he always chips in where good bunch of goals and a good bunch of assists. He's kinda of like a, an unsung hero. Him and Coutinho. Always chipping in with goals and assists. And you know they they Fraser Forster. I mean I'm kinda of partially responsible for this anyway. In myself. But He's a master at getting his angles right, isn't he, this goalkeeper? Well, he's got options on the bench. They, they really don't get, you know, like, say, hey, well, you've got this many goals and this many assists. Good, good season. Into the attacking third. And here's the shot. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Um... But yeah, I, I don't want to leave out Roberto Firmino. My friend said to me that I should, I could rotate. I could have Firmino play one game and Origi play the other. But I'd forget. I would absolutely forget to keep changing them. What about Liverpool's mm -hmm. next game? Yeah, they're playing. I wouldn't want to sell one match. as much as. People are buying for Origi blood at every choice. possible point. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. I don't well. think that's We're fair at all. Position now. He's not. Should be. Great stop. One of our, uh, he's definitely one of our best for the corner. strikers. And people. He, people criticize for having a game a bad game or two everyone has a bad game or two so close the post and yet re gets picked on singled out Got his shot off now. i don't know why nay renato sanchez did score that was completely that was complete coincidence i just hit it and hoped it would go in it just happened to be renato sanchez i did not Intentionally score with Renato's hands. I mean, could I could have passed it to Mane or Rigi. I just saw that a good opportunity for a shot. I mean, Foster could have saved it and it would have gone out, and Rigi may have gotten there anyway. So that's a complete accident. So they're looking for more. Hey. Anyway, um. Got it back again. So yeah, I'm I'm always happy to have headaches about the selection. Attacking well here. It's just a solution that's gonna be Referee, certainly not something that I have to think about. Application of the law, free kick. Really? Oh, go fuck yourself. He's got yellow here. I don't think he left the referee with much choice there. Genuine attempt to go for the ball. He just didn't seem to get his balance right there. It was a clumsy challenge. He may as well breed on. Hmm, fucking. Ayu. For the little contact there was. They cope with it well defensively. From her to the L card. Four minutes on its own. There's good progress with this attack. Oh man, he's gotten away with the ball. Manny! Oh! Goal in sort of late. 
Patrick Gold, but he won't get it. 4-0. Oh. Great, way to start the season. First match over, three points. Great start to the season. West Ham start off on the wrong foot. It's been a really good day for they will uh, hope to not do that in real Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. I actually think they, well, he was certainly the man I think to watch. Their first the game was away. But they could do nothing I'm not sure, but got himself a base think it is. to contribute to this win. Don't call me, I'm actually not too sure. Shots on! Saved by the goal. Can put them in front. Great goalkeeping. First game of the season is away. Sorry, it's away to Manchester United. At the moment, it's looking quite good for Liverpool. But only quite the first home game is until the 9th of September. Wait, what? Jesus Christ. Huh. Saying that West Ham's away form has been decent the last two seasons, so... I mean, it's not something they should be too worried about. Yes, uh, only time will tell. Quick training session. see some of my uh, players who were on loan last season are back. Um, I don't know if he's on my short list, is he? He's not. Oops. I just want to quickly show you guys what I was talking about with Daniel Sturridge. There we go for Faria, Faria. But look at look at his wages, ten thousand five hundred. What? <laughs> what? That, that that's unreal. Like I don't even know what are they? Are they? They're, they're a League Two team. They're not. They're not even in the Calcio A, they're in the bottom league. Well, that's not the bottom league, but that's the lowest tier in the it from the Italian side here's things in the game. That's just weird. Why? I mean so he took a step down, he took a massive fucking pay cut. Like 2020, so it's two years before the next World Cup. It would have just been a Euros year, wouldn't it? I'm scouting that guy. Uh, I forget why. What? Not important. Fucking what? <laughs> Arsenal fans might be glued to your team, but look at Chelsea! They've lost both the first game to score one goal! What? The team that have been in the top four the past, in all four seasons so far, second, second, and second, third. Or actually, I think they came third in the third season as well. But they've not finished out of the top four. Now they're in the, they're bottom after two games. <laughs> what? 
What? They lost the arena in the Leicester and they lost to Manchester United. Did they lose all their good players or something? What the fuck happened? Scratching my head, I have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on. I mean, if Chelsea aren't gonna challenge me, then I guess it'll be Manny or for you today, Spurs saying that Manny I had a bad start to the season last season, and then they turned it around. So maybe so that's what Chelsea. Do. They've been going out and or maybe they'll be terrible all season and get relegated. That could be a possibility and, uh, too. Two good sides here, led by two really I'm not gonna help Arsenal's position now. <laughs> If I beat them, they're, they're going to be glued to the bottom half of the pitch. We will lose them. Alley starts with Renato Sanchez in central midfield. In attack, Divo Corrigi starts. He was man of the match last time out. This is the Arsenal lineup. Starting in goal, Jan Oblak. Hector Bellerin plays with Kieran Gibbs as the fullbacks. And we'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. What a game this is. Well, back using his pace. And two teams, I think, will be having high hopes of finishing at the top of this division. Why I not? feels a little slower than have too many I injuries. And they produce the best football. I know he's older. Good position. They've worked this attack That's very not, well. Into it's a, not a dangerous position. At least fist away by the keeper. It's a warning. The shot's off. How's he done that? It's a fantastic save. Danny Welbeck. And that yes, was uh, no throwing. No wasting of time in that situation. Nathaniel get the cross in. Manny! Oh, how did he save that? How did All Black save that? Francis Motherfucker. I honestly do not know how he saved that. We're probably going to show it again. What a save. I don't know how he saved it, but he saved it. Which, I guess if you're an Arsenal fan, is the most important thing. It don't matter how, as long as he kept it out. Could get the ball into the box now. Deli Alley. And here's the shot. He's blocked that well. Alaba. Cross I was aiming to do because I press square. I mean, Alex it looked, looked, that looked more like a terrible shot than a cross. Well, I guess it was terrible. Both. Forward save for the goalkeeper. For me now. Really. I tried to get the ball away quickly. Away yeah. it's not quick here. enough. And then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. And he's dispossessed. Here's Ali. He will chase this. He won't get there. So like that. Managers like players called up by uh, international uh, setups, and you know. of course, national teams need coaches. Could he be uh, a manager at an international level? Well, I think he does deserve a chance. I think tactically, he's proven himself. Go from real. Go. Penalty. penalty. Oh yeah, um, Nato Sanchez takes penalties. Uh, in before we were like, wait, what? Why is he taking penalties? These own rules, perfect. He had a great view. Well, that's risky. I'm training him to be my new penalty taker. He's only seven penalties. Poor challenge. Points behind Alaba, and Alaba missed a few penalties last season. So here's his first test. Oh, it's saved! 
where the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down might have to change what they originally said. not off to the best start Nato gets it to Origi top rack cuts out the run and uh, ends my uh, forward attacking momentum for fuck's sake here's Beirin here's Ali that was a good penalty as well, it wasn't a bad penalty. To give the ball away like that. All Black just pulled off a great save. Another one. Free kick against Liverpool. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes, still 45 minutes. and running again for the second half no change in the weather i'm sad to say the sky is still heavy and the we get this uh, opening goal quick it was good thank you arsenal and we hope that they might get the to challenge the well game. alex oxley chamberlain his bearing renato sanchez, Renato sanchez. Good ball to Divo Carigi. Yes, it's in anyway. I don't know how. I don't know who scored it because there was a big cluster. Carigi's celebrating. He just tapped it in. He just fucking tapped it in. Seriously. But just keep just put a little tap on it and it's in. No wonder he's like, yeah, I'm not gonna properly celebrate that. To wait a while to get the first uh, well, I, I wanted a nice early second half goal to break the deadlock, and there you go, there it is. <laughs> uh, that's the most bullshit. <laughs> that's the biggest load of bullshit I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I can imagine the videos on Arsenal Fan TV if Arsenal ever lost to the game. <laughs> A game to a goal like that. Haven't I mean, been a defensive wall? Oh, I I can freaking mentally picture DT going off in my head. <laughs> uh. Hey, oh, good save from Courtois. All the keepers are making great saves at the cop and go. Still, <laughs> still saying that uh, or all black made a good save before the uh, bullshit happened. And they cut it out. Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Here's Gil. Oh, Sewell just too strong. But they've lost the ball now, <laughs> and the opposition could get at them. From Roberto for me, but now on the attack. Bournemouth, 68 minutes played, 2 0. Cheers, Alan. Very much in free kick. Owen and. It's foul. Owen. Oh, wait, it's free kick. No, I, uh, I was going to say I won a uh, Defender to it corner first. off of him. Top rack. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes. Look, lucky that wasn't uh, a yellow card worthy foul. Or he'd be gone because he was obviously. He was, of course, booked for the uh, penalty. Wait, did Arsenal just make all three of their substitutions? I think they only. I think they only made two. Well, a lot of names came up. Get their brother in. He's better usually at crossing. Atto is having none of that. Defender who got there first quite easily, actually. In quickly. Three. Three game match. Oh, now you're working to get to the torture to the defence. Oliveira, what is he doing? That's a penalty! He didn't even give it! He didn't even give it! What the fuck is that bullshit? Not only does my player get taken out for an obvious penalty, that's the exact same 
evening, Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Time almost up. What about this uh, impacting on their next game? Well, Liverpool go up. This result that they got one in the first half does not make that not a penalty. Well, out here, I'd be pleased if they win it. Well read by the defender. That should be a penalty and another yellow yeah. card. Promising build up until that challenge. They've cut the pass out there, and maybe that will ease the pressure. And here's the shot. That's a spectacular save. Not turning the ball around. Perhaps I should have a second been a thrilling contest go. this. And we're into chance of being our black. There's a Rigi. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Manny. Bullshit. And there's a full time whistle. Arsenal. Are lucky it was one now. The goal may be bullshit. The penalty was saved. Eve. The first penalty. The second penalty wasn't even given for some reason. I mean, just go back and look. You cannot tell me that was not a penalty. Even an Arsenal fan can't tell me that's not a penalty. Not like he got the ball, but and it was a fair chance. If it were a fair chance, I'd say fair enough. He got the ball, or you know, he he didn't like blatant. He go in to get only man, but that's exactly the kind of foul it was. <laughs> that is complete bullshit. I'm sorry. That is complete and utter bullshit. You know, the typical way to reintroduce who's the Liverpool career mode. Season 5 starts off in the typical fashion. We're hell of fucking bullshit. Thanks for watching. I'm um, Joy. Smash the like button and hit subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.